one of the hottest haircuts of the season. So it's back. Here with tips to take this nostalgic cut and make it modern, we've got Bill Rowley in the best suit. In the best suit. Thank you. So for the folks that don't know or don't remember, what is a shag? We're talking about hair, right? Shag hairstyle. Yes. What is the shag it hairstyle? Is, come on, you, you just you <laughs> threw it up. I had to grab it. Um, it is one of the most iconic haircuts of all time. It yeah. kind of was born in the late '60s, early '70s. Mm -hmm. um, it was a, a, it's a rebellious haircut. It's layered to the gods. Yes. It's just layer, 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 layer layers, mm -hmm. and it's a sexy rock and roll, bad boy kind of haircut. Yes, I know what you wanted to say. Yeah. Yeah. And, we and got it's it. also, the other thing that's interesting is, if you think of this old, old, old-fashioned word, it was the first unisex haircut. Oh, that Remember that sense. word? When yes. there were unisex hair unisex. salons. Unisex. It was for everyone. It was for everybody. And, yeah. you know, the, the establishment hated it. Men were supposed to have short hair. Women were supposed to have long hair. That's right. And then all of a sudden, you know, this rebellious, crazy, sexy Mixed haircut. Mixed it up. Oh, it's great. I love so it. So 60s and 70s was its birth. It came back in the 90s. It's back now in 2024. People it, are rocking the shag. Absolutely. It never really goes away. Yeah. We just have to, we have to alter it so it doesn't look like you're at a costume party. Right. Right? <laughs> when, when it does sort of get hot again. We've got to we got to tweak it, like everything totally. else, right? Like, like everything anything else. with fashion, we've got to mix it up. So we had a viewer uh, that was really interested in getting a shag haircut. We're going to take a look at Lisa before. So what was Lisa's hair like when you met her? Stunning. Yeah. But you can see a lot, really, uh, it's very really long. long and completely yeah. one length. Okay. There wasn't any layering in it. It was just straight, middle part, all the way down. Okay. Well, we want to see what Lisa oh. looks like now with her shag. Come on in. Thank you for holding that for her. Beautiful. So it's PC. It's oh. choppy. It's rock and roll. It's it still is. sophisticated. How are you feeling with your I, shag? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Is, is there a whole new Lisa emerging? Yeah. It okay. feels like All right, brand new me. <laughs> and, and, and Lisa has the perfect hair for it because she's got a lot of hair, yeah. but she has natural body. And when her hair was so long, all of that natural body was, was being dragged down by the length. So as soon as we started to layer it, all of this glorious movement just sort of came to the surface. Lovely. Yeah, and it's a haircut. The other thing too, notice we're doing this. Yeah. Touch it, play with it. It's not like the long waves that you're, you know, you're not really allowed to touch. Mm -hmm. Let, get your own or somebody else's hands in there. Right. Right. You're supposed to have some fun <laughs> yes. with it. Yes. How did you achieve the shag and uh, and talk to us about how it sort of evolved? Okay, so the original shag, the shortest hair on the head was actually on the crown. Yeah. It was a very short crown, and then all the layers went from there. Yeah. This, the modern version, is the shortest length is in the front, and then the layers mm. get longer as mm -hmm. it goes back, right? So we see this really great back with all this kind of movement in it. Yeah. Right? You can see how much hair we cut off. Yep. You can't wear a shag too long because by the time you you start to blend all those layers to really long hair, you lose all the body, all the thickness on the bottom. And right? that's the whole point. The whole point. And you want movement. You want it's movement. supposed to be like sort of unstructured looking. And then the other the other concept is, or the other thought process, sorry, is to bang or not to bang. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get your head out of the gutter today. Uh, no, I just Bill. come on. You, to you, bang you, or not to bang? You're so kind to give me this story. <laughs> um, so, because you will often see a shag with a pretty heavy fringe. Yes. And that's very much part of it. And even the modern ones, modern shags have a very heavy fringe. We just felt uh, Lisa wasn't so thrilled about that. I actually yeah. think she looks great with her forehead open. Yeah. So if you start the first layer a little bit longer and get a little bit of that curtainy kind of bang happening yes. or fringe, then, you know, that's another variation on it. So it okay. makes it much more versatile for many, many more people if you can kind of open up the front a little bit, not be so, has to have a fringe. Now, it's about the layers. It's all about the layers, and it's all about the cut. So this should be an easy hair. This should be a low-maintenance-ish hairstyle. Absolutely. What we say about a haircut like this is the style is in the haircut, yeah. not what you do with it. Right. So this could be shower and shake. You can you can uh, tip your head over and blow it all like that. Yeah. You can do just the front. Mm -hmm. As opposed to long sort of princess waves, there's no haircut there. Right. It's all style. This is the opposite. Beautiful. So you can put as much or as little effort in it as you like. So I want to know, uh, just chatting with the audience, is there anyone that's been inspired by the shag, the reemergence of the shag, that would love to maybe get a consult with Bill? Oh. Because we can do that for you. Okay, so we have some, yeah, give her some love. Oh. We've got um, someone in the back row. You'd be into a shag? I sure would. You, you sure should would. be. I, I have crazy hair. 
It's that's, not crazy. That's one thing I gotta say. No, because it's straightened. My hairdresser straightened it. Right. For me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but when I have it like natural, it's crazy. Like I, it's frizzy, and and that's what I'm afraid of by getting a shag. Okay. So so you, and it's it's a it's a legitimate fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because. Um, frizz is always a nightmare, whether you've got a bob or a shag or, or anything other than a really short haircut. The products are going to be really, really, really important for you. And what you want to do with, with that frizz with layers is you want to you want to battle that frizz when it's wet. Oh. So you can use an oil, you can use an anti-frizz product, but also you could add a little bit of, uh, of a styling cream just to help give you the little bit of lift and a little finishing cream on the ends will also help cut the frizz. Oh, okay. But it, it would look great on would you. Would it? Yes. Oh. So That's what me? I wanted oh. to know. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Thank you. You'd be a perfect candidate and he's going to show you how to style it, which is great. Bill, thank you for that. And thank you. It would look beautiful on